Hey guys, Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to calculate the mass percent of a solute and the mass percent of a solvent in a solution. Let's start with the definition of solute and solvent. So solute, it's the substance that's being dissolved, and solvent is the substance that's doing dissolving. These, typically, the solute is the substance that's uh, in that, that there's less of, and then the solvent is the substance that there's more of. And the equation to calculate the mass percent is the mass percent of A, A could be the solute or solvent, equals the mass of that divided by the mass of the solution. Now the solution is the total mass of the solute plus the solvent. So you can think of solution as the solute plus the solvent's mass times 100%. So if you're solving for the mass percent of the solute, it'll be mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100%, and if you are solving for the mass percent of solvent, it'll be mass of solvent divided by mass of solution times uh, 100%. This will make a lot more sense when we take a look at these two examples. So in this first example, we have 128 grams of KBr that's dissolved in 925 grams of water, and then it's asking us what's the mass percent of the solute and mass percent of the solvent. Well, let's first identify what's the solute and what's the solvent. KBr is what's being dissolved, so that would be the solute, and then water is going to be the solvent. Typically, water is, it, it's just, it's the universal solvent. And we can also determine that this is the solute because there's less of it, and this is solvent because there's more of it. So then we can next determine the mass of the solution. So the mass of the solution is going to equal the two masses added together, so 128 grams plus 925 grams, and that will give us 1,053 grams. So now that you have the mass of the solute, the mass of solvent, and the mass of solution, we can just plug it into the calculator. So the mass percent of the solute is going to be the mass of solute, which was 128 grams, divided by the total mass of solution, which was 1,053 grams, and then multiply it by 100%. And that will give you 12.2 percent. Next, for the solute or the solvent, the solvent, this will be the mass of solvent, which is 925 grams divided by the total mass of the solution, which is 1,053 grams, times 100 percent. And that will give you 87.8 percent. And this is, we can double check that this is correct because the sum of the total percentages will equal 100%. And for the next one, let's take a look at something that's a little bit more complicated involving molarity and density. So we're given a solution that is 6.12 molar H2O4 sulfuric acid, and it has a density of 1.354 grams per milliliter, and it's asking us, what's the mass percent of the solute and the mass percent of the solvent? Well, let's again identify what's the solute and what's the solvent. So this here is going to be the the solute H2SO4. And the solvent, it doesn't mention it, but uh, it's going to be it's going to be water. Water is going to be the solvent. Uh, pretty, pretty much you have sulfuric acid being dissolved in water to give you this solution. So let's first write out, well, we have mol molarity. So what is molarity? Molarity is moles per liter, so 6.12 molar H2O4, we can just write that as 6.12 moles of H2SO4 per one liter of solution. So we have the moles of the H, we have the moles of solute right now. We can get this to the grams of the solute because, because from here, we can just multiply by the molar mass, which is 98.9. 079. We can get the molar mass by looking at the periodic table, and then this will give us approximately 600 grams of the H2SO4. So we have the grams of the solute right here. We have one part. Now we have to figure out the mass of the solvent as well as the mass of the solution. So to figure out, since we have the solution right here, and we also have the density of the solution, we can figure out the mass of the solution because we know the equation density is equal to mass divided by volume. Uh, we have the density and we have the volume, so we just take the density multiplied by the volume, then we'll get the mass. But you can see that the density, it's grams per milliliter, so it's telling us it's 1.354 grams per one milliliter. Well, we, we currently have liters, so we can conver convert this to milliliters, because that would just be multiplied by a thousand, and that would mean that we have 1,000 milliliters of the solution. 
So if we have 1,000 milliliter and each milliliter weighs 1.354 grams, we can just take the milliliters and we can multiply it by 1.354, as you can see right here. Density times volume give us mass, so that will give us 1,354 grams of the solution. So now we have the mass of solute, we have the mass of solution, well the mass of the solvent, this is the difference between the two of them. So we can just take 1,354 minus 600, and that will give us 754 grams of the solvent, which is H2O. So just a quick recap there, we know that the solution is the mass of the solute plus solvent. We had the mass of solution, and we had the mass of the solute, so if I subtract those two from each other, we'll get the mass of the solvent. Now that we have the mass of the solute, solvent, and solution, we can just start plugging numbers into the equation. So for the solute, it'll be the mass of the, the solute, 600 grams, divided by the mass of the total solution, 1,354 grams, and then multiply it by 100%, and that'll give us approximately 44.3% uh, by mass of the H2SO4. And then for the solvent, be the mass of the solvent, which is 754 grams of water, divided by the total mass of the solution, 1,354 grams, multiply by 100%, and that will give you 55.7% of the solvent, which is H2O. And those two numbers add up to 100%, so that's how we know we're doing this correctly. This one was a little bit more complicated, but just, so just quickly recap what we did. We, got the, we have the molarity right here, so I just wrote it as moles per one liter, because um, that's the definition of mol molarity, which is moles per liter. So we have the moles of the solute. We can multiply by the molar mass to get the mass of solute. We have the volume of the entire solution. I turned that into milliliters, because we are going to multiply that by the density, which is in milliliters, to get the mass of the solution. So then once we have the mass of solute and the mass of solution, we can subtract these two from each other to get the mass of the solvent because to get, because they're supposed to add up to the, the mass of the solution. And then once we have the mass of the solute, the mass of the solvent, and the mass of the solution, this plug into the equation figure out the mass percent of each. Hopefully that made a lot more sense and now you're getting, you, you have a better understanding of how to calculate the mass percent of solute and the mass of percent of a solvent in the solution. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.